Hey everybody and welcome to another JASP tutorial video. Now in my previous video, I went over the new changes in and the new releases for an incremental release to JASP. Now we have JASP 0.17.2 and I'm recording this on my Intel Mac, okay? So we've got a couple of changes and in this video, I wanna talk about the small change that JASP themselves is working toward. So in 0.17, which was the new release at the beginning of 2023, they uh, introduced this new button. So these buttons exist when you uh, do any kind of analysis. They are all here. Now, not all of the modules have our analyses. So some of these uh, analyses, the R button doesn't work. Um, and you can read this blog post here. So they, they did this um, in March uh, of 2023 here. And so they've got exploring the, the statistics, um, you know, two different ways you can um, just generate using the R button. You click this button and this, this window will open. I'll show you in, in, uh, in Jasp in just a moment. And then you can also use the R console by copying and pasting the various things, use, having the appropriate, of course, we have to have the appropriate, uh, the appropriate thing open. So I got to change that to 0.2, I believe. I'm going to have the appropriate bugs data set open. So I'll show you that one really quickly as well. And then here they're showing the next steps next steps so summary this is what you can do in the upcoming versions this is what they plan to do what they want to do as i mentioned in my um new features and, and bug fixes ep uh, video that they want r and jazz to be seamless so you could do stuff in jazz you could do stuff in our studio you could do stuff in the r console you know things of that nature so they want to be able to make the r jazz code uh, available as a package for cran which is great right and then you can open it in our studio or something like that but Sometimes you want to get a little bit more information. So what they did in the new uh, in the new part of this update, the point two aspect of this is let's go hope, go ahead and open. I just I'm opening one of the um, data library things. You can go and grab Adam Sandler .csv. It's fine. It just opens up uh, his box office. Adam Sandler, the actor and and the various movie titles and things like that. Look at how many movies he's been in since uh, I mean, the, the data here ends in 2015. He's been in so many more. But like, oh, my gosh, uh, we've got and, and this doesn't even include his 90s movies, right? This is just 15 year period. Little Nicky, The Animal, Mr. Deeds, The Hot Chick, Punch Truck Love, Eight Crazy Nights, Anger Management. So good. 50 First Dates, do, <laughs> Click. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Oh, so so fun. Paul Blart, Mall Cop, although that was a Kevin James. Funny People, Grown Ups, Grown Ups 2. Oh, so good. I love it. It's missing the good stuff here. But anyways, uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's open up descriptives. And as you can see, I've got the R console open, but um, because it, it remembers your last one. So you just click it, hide, show, that kind of thing, right? And you can show all options. And if you make a change on this list, the only thing I wish is you could make it bigger. I wish you could make it bigger. There's a lot of scrolling, right? But we could oh, oop, whoop, close the window. Uh, so, sorry, I'm going to uncheck that, right? And so we've got version 0.17.2 uh, formula null because I've got nothing in here. Let's go ahead and put freshness into the variables box. So it gives us, you know, what is already standard here. Formula equals freshness. Okay, uh, so we're, we're looking at that and you can go through here and see if I select all options, what is available. Okay, box plot, median, false, but minimum is true. Missing is true. But if I change, if I go here and I change this to false, right, and I click away. Oh, I got to hit. Sorry, I got to hit uh, command enter to apply and it's it's gone. Right. So I just I, I have no missing. So I just got rid of it. Right. 31 movies, by the way, in a 15 year period. Wowzers. You know, some of them he had much smaller roles, of course, but there you go. Now, the new thing that point two brings us is hard to find. And I kind of wish they had included this in an updated blog because when you click on it, you kind of don't know where to go. But I was messing around and I found it. So it was, if we go back here to the release notes, it says show R in syntax. So even if I come over here, I don't think, right? So this person, Math, Math, Eugene, I'm sorry, or maybe Matt Heidstein, maybe that's your name. Sorry, uh, put our code in the syntax mode, right? So it's a feature request and but it doesn't tell you where it puts it, right? Even if you scroll down here, I think it's a great suggestion. And then it gets merged and closed. <laughs> so where do we find it? Where do we find it? Well, the good news is it's not too hard. You go up to results and you click uh, click this, the downward triangle. OK, and down here at the bottom, show our syntax. Look at that. And there it goes. There it is. Now, this is everything that I did, not everything over here. It is what is different from the default, okay? Now, the other thing that's interesting here is, so I changed missing to false, right? So I, I'm regressing freshness on the descriptives module, right? That's, that's my variable. And I typed in missing false because that's different from default. If you go over here, it's no longer checked. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, right? And so if we did this in um, the R console, for example, um, let me go ahead and grab R console here, okay? Let us find um, data library here. I wish I could, I wish I knew where it was. No, it would be in, it would be in a Nova, wouldn't it? So I'm just gonna open the data set. I'm gonna make this bigger, option, command, right? There is no data value here. I would not, I would prefer this to not be the missing value case, but you know, it is what it is. All right, let's go to R console. 
Okay, let's do, let's switch it to ANOVA. Okay, R awaits commands. So let's grab this from there. And we are going to, yep, I'm going to can uh, copy that. And we are going to paste it here. But I'm going to change this to two. And um, see, this is the thing. Like, I'm doing what you asked me to do, guys. Oh, I got to hit add analysis, run code. So it automatically opened it with here. Oh, this is weird. I don't want that. Let's move this over. There we go. Right. So it automatically opened that and it put it all in. Now, again, you have to kind of, kind of scroll it. So that's what the R console does, right? So you put the R code there. It added the analysis, it opened up the module, okay? And it put everything in its proper place, disgustingness, low high, frighteningness, these are not the words that I, I used in a previous video, low high and then low D, low F, all of that. And then it put all in there and then it put gender as a between subjects factor, it chose eta squared. Um, let's see what it did for, it put everything in the model terms. It did not get any assumptions, that's interesting. I guess we could we could look into that if we wanted to. Descriptive plots, if we wanted to, also we could add in a rain cloud plot, what? This is new. Uh, let's let's what what let's let's add in uh separate plots for rain clouds. Oh no, um separate plots for gender. Uh, that doesn't seem to be working. That's a bummer. Okay, no rain cloud plots. All right, descriptive plots. Something's happening with my I think because these should be working. Gender for male, gender female. Quartz bitmap output. So I'll go ahead and um take a screenshot of that. Okay, perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know why that's not working. Could be something in the could be something in the code that I did, but uh, could also be a bug, right? Um, but anyways, this is the R code in so it's got oops i meant to put it here right and then if you want to turn it off you can hit hide r syntax or show r syntax so that's that's the module this is this was video is an updated r console basically so if you have any questions comments suggestions or other feedback please leave those in the comments down below thanks for watching this video i will see you in the next one